Hey everybody, welcome back to the Peebs channel. We've covered Lunchables, but what about Lunch Makers? We've covered Cheez-Its, but what about So Cheesy? Yes, today we are gonna be covering some rip-off food snack brands. We'll see if they're as good as the original. They probably aren't, but you never know. And I'll even give each one a rating out of 10. So maybe I can help you decide whether or not you should save a few bucks here or there on your next purchase of the classic cereal Marshmallow Mates. The aforementioned Marshmallow Mates. I hope that it's good because this was the smallest bag that it came in. Now, this is obviously a uh, Lucky Charms ripoff. It's really not that subtle, but for some reason, we're going with a pirate theme. I'm not really sure why, but you know, we, we got some booty from a company called Malt Oatmeal. Isn't that like a oatmeal company? I guess they're branching out into the uh, Lucky Charms uh, scene. Let's open this bag up. Obviously, I'll have to try it with milk, but we can give it a try dry first. Obviously, if you're, if you're uh, buying marshmallow mateys instead of uh, Lucky Charms. You're probably doing that to save money, so no shame at all. But, you know, I'm not personally going to take that into account. We are only going into the flavor, the quality of the ripoff product. The bag, I can say, is not good. <laughs> you can see the, uh, it's supposed to have a little zip tie here, but it doesn't go all the way. Why does it have a zip lock that only goes halfway? <laughs> oh, well, whatever. It doesn't smell like Lucky Charms. It smells, and I know this is an overused example, but it smells like cardboard. That's what it smells like. To be fair, I've never like stuck my nose into a box of Lucky Charms and smelt it, but I think it would smell better than that. So it's gonna be a yikes for me, dog. The pieces are a lot bigger, like the regular pieces are a lot bigger and they're puffier than Lucky Charms. They do still have this sort of uh, vanilla glaze on them. But yeah, a lot more puffy. How are the marshmallows? The marshmallows taste almost exactly the same, but they dissolve sort of instantly in your mouth. It's not bad. I mean, if I if I like didn't know any better, I would just assume it was Lucky Charms. So I guess that's a plus. The puffy pieces don't taste as good though. I mean, I know you're you, for Lucky Charms, you're going for the marshmallows, but these puffy pieces, these are not as good puffy pieces. I'm gonna have to dock points for that. Well, I need a, I need a bowl and some milk. Be right back. All right, I'm excited to try this. If, if for no other reason than I am extremely <laughs> hungry, so please do not disappoint me, Mister. Mateys. All right, here we go. There's something slightly off again about the puppy pieces. It's not bad though. It's just, it just tastes like it's not right. That's what it, it tastes like. It's not right. Pretty good though. Honestly, you could probably fool a kid with this. Here's what you do. And you didn't hear this from me. You buy Lucky Charms one time. And then from then on out, you buy Marshmallow Manies. You pour it into the box of the Lucky Charms. There's no way your kid's going to notice that. So yeah, if you want to give your child some unhealthy, sugary dessert for breakfast, you want to save a few uh, cents in the process, you know, you can go with Marshmallow Manies. I give it a 7.8 out of 10. Yeah, we're going decimals. You won't get this kind of accuracy on any other channel. All right, next we'll go with something more savory. How about a Pringles knockoff? Stacks. And this is a reputable brand that's knocking off another brand. Come on, Lays. I thought you were better than this. Lay Stacks. Irresistible. I actually remember these from a long time ago. I even tried them when I was a kid. I don't remember what they're like, though. They did at least have the decency to make the shape of their uh, uh, rod different than the Pringles one. Just realizing that I'm, we'll move on. So these are the barbecue flavor. Bring the fun with you. Mommy, am I supposed to carry this around, like, everywhere? Like, <laughs> it's kind of big. Okay, I guess I'll bring the fun with me. Okay, so this is a reputable brand, Lay's. I'm expecting a little higher quality than I am from, like, the, the grocery store brands. So I'm grading you on a curve, Lay's. Here's a close-up of our chip. Looks unimpressive. The bottom looks better. We definitely have the flavor all on one side. Let's go. No, 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 no. I need another one. I need another one. I need another one. No, 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 no. The flavor's honestly kind of underwhelming. Not nearly as strong as I was hoping. The chip itself, not as crisp as uh, Pringles. It's again, a little more airy and like puffy. Not like excessively puffy, but it just doesn't have that same like satisfying crisp that uh, a Pringle would have. Mm, not bad, Lay's, uh, but you can do better. I'm giving this a six. Point two. Point two. Don't let it be said that I'm not generous. I'd say that they uh, could spend a little more time to perfect this, but considering how old the Stacks brand actually is, I, they haven't done it yet. I don't think they're going to. Honestly, 
The 6.2 is generous. It could have been lower. I didn't think those were that good at all. Stick with Pringles if you want some fake potato chips. It is not like Lay's are gonna be any cheaper. I mean, actually, I'm not sure. They might they might be more expensive for all I know. Do you expect me to do a research and eat things on this channel? I'm sorry, that's just a little bit too much work. Skittles knockoff. What are these called? Yum Earth Organic Giggles. <laughs> so it's not Skittles, it's Giggles. <laughs> well, I love it when it's totally shameless. Even more reasons to love them. Made without soy eggs, dairy fish, shellfish. Why would any of this be in there? <laughs> Why would there be shellfish in, is there, are there shellfish in Skittles? Is that what you're telling me? So I guess with all of these like things on it, you, you're telling me this this is healthy. This better be healthy then. Let's open it up. This is so far, we're, we're three for three with like off brands and not being able to open the bags properly but i mean that's pretty much any product though so i won't i won't i won't blame the off brands only like i i, I don't know how many times i've complained about this if i did like an av gin you know what's bullshit type video i would definitely be doing this first zip like bags where you rip it up and you can't open the bag because it's still closed oh i'll smart it get owned giggles oh what the hell I for okay. I thought it kind of felt like this, but they got like little individual packages. For a sort of hippie sounding like Yum Earth organic brand, like this is good. This doesn't use animal products. This is vegan. This is good for that. They sure are using a lot of plastic. What is this I can portion my, my, my giggles myself, Yum Earth. I don't need you to do it for me. Also, there's like five giggles in here. If I get this in my lunchbox, I'm gonna be pissed, mom. There's not enough giggles in my lunchbox, mom. Anyways, sheesh. You're snow sweet. It's guess it's because it is a snowflake and it's sort of cold outside. But what about when it's not cold? Do they have different packages? <laughs> Do they have different jokes for when it's the summer? Yum Earth! I need these questions answered. Let's eat the Skittles. I mean, giggles. <laughs> What? They're all yellow and green? What the hell is this? Do we have a Chatronic pink Starburst thing on our hands here? Oh, this one's a little better. We'll see another one. Okay, okay. That one was maybe just a fluke. Although I'm still seeing a lot of yellows. This one is like all yellow, practically. And I need to cut my fingernails. I should have done that before I started doing this video, but I guess I'll do it after I eat my giggles. So they definitely look like Skittles, but the consistency of the shapes is non-existent. They're not even like actually circle shaped. I mean, like occasionally they are, but then like others aren't. So it's actually kind of confusing. Like, what's wrong with this giggle? This giggle's all messed up. See, when you don't make them with shellfish in it, that's what happens. If you don't put artificial dyes, fish, dairy, egg, and shellfish into your Skittles, then they just turn out a little messed up like this. Red. Well, that one's all messed up. You get that with Skittles sometimes, too. You bite into one, and it's, like, kind of hard halfway through, and it kind of splits. Apparently, Giggles has that, too. The flavor is not that bad, though. Honestly, very reminiscent of Skittles, obviously, but the aftertaste, especially, is very nice. It does have a little bit more of a fruit juicy flavor versus a, that sort of, like, synthetic Skittle flavor. There's one that is, like, completely disshaped. Yeah, the flavor, again, is not bad. The texture is not quite as satisfying as a Skittle. A Skittle has, there's a little bit more give to a Skittle when you bite into it. This is a little more, it's sort of like, just not as satisfying to bite into. But it is, it is pretty similar though. I'll, gi I'll give it to them. Yeah, these actually are pretty tasty. I like the flavor of them a lot. I'll give it an 8.1. Giggles. I think it would have been better with some shellfish in it though. <laughs> All right, next we have a ripoff of another product that we have covered on this channel recently. Bagel Bites, or should I say One Bite? Everybody knows the rules. Guess that's is that, that's the name? It's I, I mean, I, I'm led to believe that's what the actual name of the product is. It sounds like it's something written by like AI. Hmm, what's a joke humans would find funny that would work as a product name for pizza bagels? I know. One Bite, everybody knows the rules. Like, what does that even mean anyways? It doesn't make sense. Do I have to eat the pizza bagel in one bite? Or am I only allowed to have one bite? But there's a lot more, so, like, why can't I have the rest of it? I don't know, but that's the rules. All right, so I already have the toaster oven preheating. I am going to try these in the microwave, too. And unlike last time, I'm not going to be a moron. I'm not going to put two pizza bagels in the microwave for the exact same time you'd eat the rest of them up. <laughs> I actually don't use the microwave very often, unless I'm uh, heating up a factor meal. Uh, is this video sponsored? I don't think it is, but it is thanks, factor. All right, so I think it's... It should be preheated. Let's go down and cook it up. All right, so here is our pizza bagels. 
Honestly, they look indistinguishable from bagel bites. I'll put a couple in the toaster oven and do the rest in the microwave. And uh, yes, I did preheat the, the oven, by the way. Got a surprisingly large amount of comments on the one week frozen pizza video about, oh, he doesn't even preheat the oven. Oh, before he puts the pizza in it. But yeah, I, I preheat the oven. What do you mean? I, I, didn't, I didn't show it. I didn't just didn't show it in the video because I didn't think it was interesting. It's the content that you want to see. You want to see the preheating? I'm going to leave the preheating in next time and we're going to show the entire freaking preheating process. No speed ups. It's just going to sit there and preheat for 20 minutes. Also, I'll answer another qu uh, comment that I know I'm going to get. These are not Christmas lights. I don't still have the Christmas lights up. These these are just colored lights are always up there. All right. I know that that blows some people's minds. If you don't like it, don't live here. All right. So uh, it says 2.30 or whatever. I'm going to do 2.15 and just watch it. I'll, I, I took two of them out. So I will be fair to these one bite pizza bagel, whatever that they're called. Okay, some of them are actually not done, the ones in the middle. I guess they need a little more time. God, they're they're stuck, that's for sure. All right, so I have the pizza bagel bites, the microwaved ones. There's still a couple in the toaster oven. In hindsight, I'm not actually sure why I made all of these. I don't need to eat all of these right now. I have more off-brand foods to eat. I actually do, believe it or not, try to avoid wasting food on this channel. I ate all the pizza from the frozen pizza video. Working on my dad bod. Here's what they look like. The one in the middle didn't get cooked as much, but the ones on the outside sure seemed done. Uh, it seems like it's gonna be hard to get them off. That one's coming off. There we go. Nice and crispy on the bottom. Cheers. That's hot. Ah! I was too busy burning my tongue to uh, recognize what it tasted like. Part of me wants to be like, well, it tastes exactly the same as pizza bagels or bagel bites, excuse me. But you know, when I'm think, I thinking about it, it's like I barely taste pizza at all. The the bagel bites, despite being the lowest on my uh, ranking, spoiler alert for that video, they were actually pretty good. In fact, I was actually kind of wondering why some people were mad at me because I said was like you know, like hating on bagel bites. I mean, I said they were pretty good. I actually did like them. These are not great though. Like their toppings just aren't coming through at all. They're like I can feel the pepperoni and cheese in my mouth but I'm not tasting it and I'm pretty sure it isn't because I burned my tongue. Pretty sure. Yeah, I ate literally just the toppings. I mean, you can kind of taste the saltiness of the pepperoni, but I don't taste the cheese at all. Don't taste the sauce. Honestly, it's kind of disgusting. Not bad though. <laughs> kind of disgusting. Not bad though. I'd eat it. But again, I'd eat literally any kind of pizza, no matter how bad or how good it is. But before I rank it, let's try the uh, toaster oven ones. I assume those will be better because these are a little soggy. I'm not going to lie. The microwave is really not the way to cook these. I don't know why I cooked almost all of them in the microwave. All right. So here are the uh, toasted ones. They definitely look better. They feel more uh, sturdy. Good bagel bite. I mean, good one bite. <laughs> or what, what? I can't even remember what these are called. All the toppings are sliding off of this one. <laughs> this better be better. <laughs> It's definitely better. The texture alone is better, which is, you know, not surprising. It's still very, very bland in the taste, though. Yeah, 6.4. I thought about giving this a 6.5, but no. All right, let's do something fruity next. Fruit tape. Obviously, I mean, fruit by the foot, which is uh, the old classic 90s, or at least that's when I remember it. Fruit snack that's like uh, in a roll, and it, it's it's actually, it's how long are those? As a kid, they felt like they were like 12 feet long, but they're probably like three or three feet. I always personally preferred uh, fruit roll-ups more than fruit by the foot. You obviously get more for your money, more bang for your buck with fruit by the foot, but I liked the flavor of the other one better. But we'll see what fruit tape tastes like. Come on, kids. Let's go eat some tape. So this is Annie's brand, which is a brand that I'm pretty familiar with in the Pacific Northwest. It's an organic brand. They offer different alternatives to things like a Kraft Mac and cheese, stuff like that. Generally, I would think Annie's is not bad by like off-brand standards. So let's try it out. We have Bendy Berry. Let's get one of the other flavors too. Why not? Swirly Strawberry. I'll right, do the berry one first. Yeah, this is exactly what Fruit by the Foot looks like. To the T. Ah. This is how you're obligated to eat it. Right off the bat, the taste, pretty good. I actually like the taste a lot. As is often the case with these off-brands though, the, the texture is really where it kind of falls short of the uh, the original. I would chalk that up to it being organic. Whatever crazy chemicals or whatever they're putting in fruit by the foot, they don't have that in this, presumably. Every man has one of these in their tool belt. <sighs> Suffer a little bit of a head wound? Well, Annie's fruit tape can solve anything. Just wrap it around. There you go! This shit is sticky. It's a whip! It doubles as a whip! <laughs> I caught my... Oh God! <laughs> I got, I caught the, the audience! Don't play with your food by the way. Take this Luigi!
I am uh, unironically having fun with this fruit tape. Cut back to two minutes ago when I said I I, uh, I try not to waste too much food on this channel. Only if it's funny, okay? Oh yeah, the strawberry. I forgot to try it. <laughs> mm. Again, the flavor is good. And the texture isn't terrible. It's just not as good as uh, fruit by the foot. A little softer, a little more chewy. Overall, pretty good though. I'll give it a eight point. Well, on one hand, this is fruit. But on the other hand, it's texture. Gonna have to go with an 8.7. Take it or leave it. All right. So cheesy. And no, we are not talking about the jokes I make on this channel. <laughs> it's the cheese it rap. I have to say the name So Cheesy has got to be the worst name out of all these brands so far. And that's kind of saying something. Original baked cheese bits crackers. I think that's referring to the flavor of, as the original flavor, but it sure does make it sound like they are the original cheese crackers. Kroger did it first. I think they felt like if they put enough smiling and happy people on their box eating their cheese cracker product that you might not recognize that it is a sham, a fraud. Gone in a flash. Focus on flavor with a perfect bite-sized snack. For the two people in the audience that haven't uh, realized it yet, these are a Cheez-It knockoffs. Yeah, they look literally, literally the same thing. How many Kroger brands did we have we done? I think the Bagel Bites were Kroger. Those were bad. I actually think the rest of the brands we have might be Kroger. Well, we'll see. Kroger, hopefully you do better than you did your Bagel Bites. Yeah, I mean, like, just looking at this, there's no way you'd think this wasn't Cheez-Its. Now that I'm thinking about it, wasn't there already a different Cheez-It ripoff? I think they were, like, called Cheez-It. Cheese nips? Am I crazy? Do those still exist? Well, at least if they don't, we have go cheesy. Yeah, that tastes exactly the same. This is the first one. You did it, so cheesy. Kroger, congratulations, Kroger. You've done it. You copied successfully. Cheers to you. Kind of reminds me of like a Pokemon. Go cheesy! Who's that Pokemon? It's Pikachu! It's cheesy! Fuck! Pikachu, go! Cheesy! Huh? But yeah, this is almost completely indistinguishable, both in uh, visuals and in taste. I mean, it's just, it's like like maybe a 2% difference in the taste. I, I, I Even I can barely tell. Jesus might have like a 2-3% more sharp cheddar flavor than this, but it's like, you know, almost exact. So for that, I will give So Cheesy a 9.5. Well, I guess if it's per, it should be more like a 9.9, .9, really, honestly. I guess, I don't know how my scoring system is working. It's more like a gut feeling. It's like a vibe check. It's not really based on anything. <laughs> so either a 9.5 or a 9.9, .9, I don't know. All right, we have a couple more left. Next, we have non pop tarts, toaster treats, another Kroger brand. We have the toaster treats variety pack, 12 pastries in total. I'm trying to see which one's the least healthy. Oh, frosted blueberry has one more sugar. Oh my god, canceled. Honestly, I'm kind of excited for these. I feel like they will be not bad, honestly. And I haven't had pop tarts in a long time. I've known people to hate on pop tarts and just like completely on them. Oh, they're no toaster strudel. And I'm not saying they are as good as toaster strudel, but hey, I always had a soft spot for pop tarts back in the day. I'm not too good for a pop tart. I might be too good for a toaster treat, so we'll see. Has yet to be to be proven. Oh, well, I mean, I guess I'll, I'll try them cold or not cold, uh, room temperature. <laughs> when I was in college, I used to have a late night class one day a week and it would last for forever. I would go to the vending machine and grab stuff. I, a lot of times I ended up getting a pop tart. It doesn't need to be toasted. It, it, it was pretty good. Cherry, let's try the cherry first. I feel like cherry is the go-to base basic flavor of Pop-Tarts, at least for me it always was. I guess that or strawberry. Here's the look of it. Do you like the look of it? Here it is. It's cute. Pretty indistinguishable visually, and they even kind of cheap out on the icing a little bit like Pop-Tarts love to do. I don't know why I was like expecting or hoping for some kind of like cherry cheese pull. <laughs> I don't know why I thought that might happen, but there was any chance of that. It does seem like there's a decent amount of flavor though, even pretty close to the crust. We'll see about the edge here though. I'm gonna bite like right there. I'm gonna see how much flavor do we get. Basically none. Still tastes pretty good though. Dude, not bad. I think Broker might have another hit on their hands. That's top shelf pop tart ripoff right there. I will toast the other two just to, you know, get a get a more accurate representation mm. of how most people will be eating this. It's toasting time. 
them. All right, here are our toasted toaster treats. Uh, they kind of skipped out a little bit on the icing. You know, I'll have to dock points for that, but they smell good. This is uh, the strawberry. Honestly, it smells good. I, I, <laughs> I love Pop Tarts. Yeah, almost completely mm. indistinguishable to me. They, they did a really good. Kroger, I think, was Kroger the pizza bagels? I can't remember. If it is, f you, Kroger. If it wasn't, honestly, good job, Kroger. You done good every time. Good job, Kroger. All right, here's the blueberry. Again, not a lot of icing there. I'm gonna have to dog punch for that. Ooh, look at that. Blueberry gooey goodness. That's a t that's a two thumbs up. Or, in other words, a 10 out of 10. Toaster Treats gets the official Peep Seal seal of approval. And I know I said I had to dock points for that, but it's because I was going to give it a 10.2, but I had to do dock points for that. So that's why it gets a 10 instead of the perfect score. In case you were keeping track of the scores at home. Toaster Treat, the new sponsor of the channel. Just kidding, but hit me up, Kroger. I will sponsor the to to Toaster Treats. Okay, we are now to the final items, which are all three Lunchables ripoffs. These were actually the reason why I even wanted to do this in the first place. I was just walking through the frozen aisle or whatever it is, the fridge aisle with the cheese in it, and also known as the dairy aisle, I guess. And I just sort of glanced to see, hey, were, were there any Lunchables flavors that were new or whatever? I don't know. And I noticed there sure are a lot of ones that are not Lunchables that they, they, they look like Lunchables. You might even call them a ripoff of Lunchables. You might say that. Well, there were actually a lot of them. I picked out three of them. First, this was the most blatant looking one. We have the pepperoni flavored sausage pizza from Lunchmaker. Then we have the Simple Truth Natural Lunch Kit Turkey and Cheese. And then we have one that is a little bit more of like an adult version of a Lunchable. Hillshire Snack and Small Plate. So I thought these were a nice sort of like three different variations of a Lunchable's ripoff. We need we need a little bit of a variation. Lunchable ripoff diversity. <laughs> I'm going to start with the uh, Natural Simple Truth Lunch Kit. So this is sort of like a Lunchable's but healthy, I guess. Uh, sliced smoked turkey. Crack. Crackers, Colby cheese, and oatmeal cookies. So obviously a uh, variation of the Cracker Stackers Lunchable. Honestly, of all the things that could be ripped off and be better, I would think Lunchables would be pretty high on the list. It's not like it's really that high tier of food to be working with in the first place. Although I will say this turkey doesn't look good. How do you make turkey that looks more sus than Lunchables turkey? Honestly, I'm impressed. They even give you the same amount of slices and crackers per box, which is uh, honestly, you could just give me at least one more natural lunch kit maker or whatever. That way you could at least claim you're better. You have more. What do you have now? Nothing! Well, I haven't tried it yet. We'll see if you have something or not. This is the cracker sandwich. I'm going to eat it. Definitely the first thing that stands out. These crackers are salty as hell. This is about the saltiest crack I've ever had in my life. Not that that's a bad thing necessarily. It almost overpowers everything else though. Despite that top piece of turkey looking kind of sus, it's it's not bad. It's just regular like processed deli turkey or whatever. Not bad. The cheese is Colby. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty unoffensive. Inoffensive? Unoffensive? Almost feel like I want to build it. The, like I would normally put the turkey on, on the bottom side of the cracker, but it's so salty. I'm gonna put it on the top. That might be better. Can taste something other than just salt instantly. Try the oatmeal cookie. That sucks. <laughs> the aftertaste is good. I guess it's better than a fake Oreo. Very cinnamony. I'm gonna give these a score uh, after I eat all of them. So next we'll move on to the Hillshire Snacking Small Plates. I guess you could argue this is for its own thing. This isn't really a Lunchable ripoff. For the sake of this video though, um, I think it is. I mean, this is just like somebody in a, in a, in a suit and tie was like at a table with a bunch of other people in a suit and ties and was like, what if we made a Lunchable that was for adults? And then they made this. The only thing is I think any adult that would want to eat a Lunchable would just want to eat a regular Lunchable, like the one they had as a kid, so we'll see. Maybe I'm wrong. Instead of crackers, we have a little, uh, what are these? Pita chips, maybe? Yeah, I believe these are pita chips. And, uh, pepperoni instead of ham or turkey and some kind of cheese. Oh, no, sorry. Excuse me. They're not pita bread. They are toasted rounds. What is the word I'm looking for for these? British toast, toast, British something. What are those little crackers called? They're kind of like a little rectangle and they're exactly like this. Can't remember. What kind of cheese is it, though? White cheddar. Okay. I'm actually starting to get kind of full. <laughs> I don't have the appetite I had 10 years ago. Oh, that's for sure. All right, let's try this really toasted one. Can I get a pepperoni? I gotta say, a cold pepperoni. I don't know. I mean, I guess it could be good, but it's really not like appetizing visually. And it also, it's like, feels, it's kind of hard. And then a white cheddar slice. All right, one of my toasted rounds is broken. I want a refund. <clears throat> I don't like it. I was right to be suspicious of the cold pepperoni. Tastes terrible. Pepperonis need to be cooked, preferably thoroughly cooked and toasted. Crunchy even. That's bad though. And the white cheddar, I mean, it's fine. Just white cheddar cheese. These toasted rounds though? 
That one's a little better, but super stale. Also, those are incredibly salty too. Holy crap. See, it seems fine when you snap it, but you bite into it. It's like stiff, stale, not good. We're moving on. Last, I was looking forward to this one. We have the Lunchmaker's Pepperoni Pizza. This is very much like a, uh, Dad, can I have a Lunchables? Okay, we got Lunchables at home. Lunchables at home. I do appreciate though, that they just went all out. Even the color scheme and everything. They're like, just make it look like Lunchables. We're put the candy in there, do, do everything. We're really just gonna be as shameless as possible here. Dude, these might be the saddest looking pepperonis I've ever seen in my life. Disgusting, look at that, it's like wet. It's wet. Ew. <laughs> Ew. Everything else looks the same though. The pepperonis. Holy crap. I don't even like the pepperoni ones. I mean, like I just mentioned a second ago, I don't like whole pepperonis. The Lunchables ones, I always got the pizza Lunchables that just had like two different kinds of cheese. Miss me with the cold meat products for lunch. I don't, I don't want, want that. Even these bread slices look literally the same. Wait, hold up though. Don't you get three pizzas in a Lunchables? Lunchmakers, what the hell? Do I have to? Do I have to? <laughs> Here's the pizza. You want it? Oh no? Oh, okay. Well, I'll have it. Here comes the pizza, see it? <laughs> oh! Jeez. Highly unnecessary. They somehow made the sauce for this even sweeter than the Lunchables one, which is pretty impressive. I didn't really get a taste of the pepperoni. I only got a small little bite. Ugh, doesn't smell good though. God, that is some sweet, sweet tomato sauce. Not a fan of that. This is absolutely disgusting, honestly. I already think that the Lunchables pizza sauce is a little too sweet. That is just overwhelmingly bad. All right, and I'll taste uh, one of these sad looking Ronies. <laughs> Considering this is what an actual pepperoni should look like. Again, I don't want it cold. It's bad uh, and I, I don't like it. But this is what a real pepperoni looks like. The Lunchmaker's pepperoni in comparison looks like this. <laughs> uh, you'll notice some differences. You're out. Wait, that's safe. You're not safe if you eat this. You are actually in danger. Naturals, 6.5. The adult one, one. Lunchmakers, 0.5. Get the hell out of here. I mean, I love you and subscribe to the channel and like the video. Thanks, love you, bye. Now get the hell out of here.